on our way to Orange Theory. Matching pants again. <laughs> Woo! Pants. This isn't a shirt from anywhere. Where's the shirt from, Mom? Oh, I don't know. Like, it's just a white random tank top because I have to wear tank tops because I have an armband heart rate monitor, but okay, we're gonna go. New video just went up. It's the booty workout from yesterday. And let's check out this new banner action we got going on. I would just like to say that my legs and my booty are so sore, like it hurts to sit down. Like, it like takes me a minute to sit down. I might need to do some stretching today. But my mom and I don't feel like making lunch, so we're going to go to this nice little breakfast place um because we could eat breakfast any time of the day and they have like healthy options so we're gonna go eat there and then um we're gonna hit the gym i would also just like to say we were at 1406 followers on my fit instagram so if you're not already following me on here you should do it because i post every single day i just posted this right now go check it out also i have a question so, I've been contemplating this for the past couple days, and I haven't even told my mom about it. So, I'm mm. going to tell you guys now. I want to get a tattoo. Just kidding. Um, I'm thinking I should possibly change my name on YouTube to my real name and my Instagram name. I'm going to leave the fit Instagram name, but comment down below if I should leave the Bianca Selena so and just be Bianca Franco because that's who I am that's Cindy Franco this is Bianca Franco her maiden name's running though fun fact weird very weird all right guys here's my meal I have eggs poached with avocado tomato and an English muffin eggs bacon over here about to go into the gym let's see if man bun boy is here on a mission. FYI, Man Boy Bun was not in the gym. Man Bun Boy. Okay, so we're starting off with the superset. We're doing 10 closed grip bench press with the, I'm using a 40, no, I'm using a 30 pound bar. And then after you do the closed grip, you do change into reverse grip and do the same 10. And then just changing your grip up changes um, the like muscles you're using. So yeah, we're doing it two exercises back to back no rest in between for four sets and then next we are moving into our next superset this whole workout is full of supersets today so i'm doing five isolated dumbbell flies on each arm moving from the left to the right and then i'm bringing my arms together and doing 10 total on with both arms To continue with this superset, we are finishing off with 10 skull breakers. I'm using a 20 pound bar this time and I'm just doing 10 skull breakers and complete this whole exercise for four sets as well. The next superset is on the cable machine. I'm doing 10 push downs and to 10 reverse grip push downs. Your arm should be at a 90 degree angle and pull them down you might need to lower your weight when you do the reverse grip pull downs but um, just do whatever weight feels most comfortable for you all right last superset we are doing 10 chest press this is a 45 pound bar and I'm just doing 10 and then after you complete the 10 you will get up, grab one of the um, plates that you put on the bar, and then do 10 tricep, ex nope, not 10, 15. 15 overhead tricep extensions. Okay, you can just do regular push-ups if you want with the ball, but since my mom works out with me, I'm doing a fun little partner push-up workout. So you just do the push-up, slide the ball, and hold a plank while you wait for your partner to do the push-up, and then you come back and do a push-up, and you can do as many as you want until you just can't do it anymore. And then my mom did some abs to finish off the workout. So just grab onto something 
um, like you could use a heavy weight or whatever works for you and lift your legs up and then slowly twist your body from the left side to the right side and then um, do that for 30 seconds and then after that slowly bring your legs up and then slowly release your body down and then after you do both of these in a row then you can take a 30 second break or you can take a break in between those whatever works for you after that we are doing bicycles so you slowly lift your body up and then with your legs kind of like you're riding a bicycle let your body down keep your legs straight never touch your legs to the ground and then lift your body back up and then again complete that for 30 seconds Okay, so for the last exercise, you can use any object that like you'd have to lift your feet over, but I'm just using this big ball and you bring your legs from the right to the top and then to the left, crunching in your abs or your stomach and this will burn. And then we're just doing a little quick ab, little sesh, a little burnout at the end. So add this onto your next workout day if you want a nice little burnout. Okay guys, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my crazy curly hair, but I showered and oh gosh, we got back from the gym, showered, and now we are having a nice Friday night and we are going to watch the movie Before I Fall. Neither of us has seen it, so I'll tell you guys how it is. And then tomorrow morning, we're going to Orange Theory at 9 instead of 9.15, therefore we have to go to bed earlier. So it's like a 15 minute difference, but that's a lot when it comes to waking up. Mm-hmm. Okay guys, so I'm very frustrated with that movie. I'm mad that she relived all those days for nothing. Well, for something, but nothing. And now, we're about to go to bed. And I'm like, so tired. But I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. And that is all. Say goodnight, Mom. Good night. Good night.